Good afternoon, everybody. I hope everybody's had a wonderful day. I know you're looking forward to a fall break it's just around the corner. We have a couple days left and a little work to do before we can call it quits and start that vacation that everybody's looking forward to. I want to talk to you this afternoon about a couple of issues. I have with me Officer Barnett and, and Coach Hamilton, and they're going to kind of help out with this conversation. Uh, as most of you at this point know, you've heard about the situation that took place at the, the middle school yesterday. And uh, we're having a little fallout from that today as well. If you hadn't heard about it, I guess you'll probably hear after this video. And it, it, it'll, it goes to the fact that making threats of any type is absolutely inappropriate, particularly uh, making threats uh, like you're going to bring a gun to school, you're going to shoot someone, you're going to bring a weapon of any time, any type, you're going to cause some type of harm to somebody. Uh, you know how we feel about bullying, you know how we feel about harassment. In today's society, in today's culture, the way things are, are falling out all around our great community, uh, those things are absolutely unacceptable and we can't tolerate that. And I want you to know that. Officer Barnett's going to talk with you right now about the seriousness of making those threats and what we do on our end in terms of the consequences. The school has a real strict policy on this. Um, First thing that's going to happen to you, you'll be suspended, you'll be charged, which means you have to go to court, and you'll also have to see have an assessment done, which means you have to talk to a psychiatrist to determine whether or not you can come back to school, and then you will be sent to Falcon Academy for a number of days before you're allowed to come back into the high school or whatever school you're in. So those are the things that, that are going to happen to you, no matter who you are, what race you are, whatever, those are going to happen to you before you get to come back to the high school. So it, so it is a very serious. I hope you listen to that. Those consequences are pretty harsh. You know, a lot of kids that we, we encounter that's done this, they say they were just joking and they were just playing. Officer Barnett, it doesn't matter, does it? If you make that kind of threat? If you make that threat, we take it serious, and that's what's going to happen to you. If you're playing or joking or whatever you want to call it, you're going to get that, that's those, that type of punishment. That's what's going to happen to you. So we can't stress that enough. Last year we had Judge Costello and... Um, Wes Stevens come over to school and talk basically to the whole student body about this and, and you know they're going to support our initiatives here to keep this school safe. We work very hard each and every day to provide a, a safe school environment, a, a happy school environment, a good culture where everybody uh, you know feels comfortable about being here and we're not going to allow one person to go off the wall and make these comments and write these things down on a piece of paper or put it on social media for that fact. Uh, we're going to do everything we can to eliminate that. Now, we can't control what you guys do or say. Uh, we can encourage you strongly and let you know the consequences and talk about the seriousness of it. But what Officer Barnett said pertains to each and every one of us in this building. If we make those kind of comments, then that's the consequences that we're going to be uh, held to. And uh, they're pretty harsh. So understand that. If you have any questions or concerns, come up here and sit down and talk to us. Uh, today is a very normal day here at school. Everybody should feel comfortable and safe, and we're not going to have it any other way. And if one of you decide to go off the wall and make that kind of comment, then understand you're going to have to deal with us and the consequences that follow. Uh, thank you, Officer Bonnie. I appreciate that. We have also have a few other issues going on uh, that, are, that are minor compared to what we just talked about, but there still are issues that I'd like to address the student body uh, with and it deals with dress code. We're having a number of young ladies wear these leggings and the leggings are okay, they're acceptable, but you have to have, uh, Coach, tell me that, you have to have, what with that? Yeah, uh, for all the young ladies in the building, if you're gonna wear any of the yoga top pants, the top fitting pants, you have to have the appropriate length overgarment to cover. Um, we shouldn't be able to see anything. Teachers shouldn't be able to see it. Other students shouldn't, shouldn't be able to see anything. So if you're going to wear those top uh, pants, you need to have the appropriate uh, overgarment to cover everything. Also, um, we're allowing this year, I think they're called cold shoulder uh, tops. That does not mean tank tops. That does not mean exposed uh, bra straps or anything like that. So make sure uh, you're within dress code on that. As for the young men, hats are not allowed in this school building. Not at all, uh, and they, they never will be. Uh, also, for both young men and, and young women, uh, make sure that the shirts that you wear, the, the lettering, the writing on those shirts is appropriate. If they reference drugs, if they reference alcohol, if they reference anything negative, anything that goes against school, 
uh, policy or anything listed in our handbook, uh, then you're going to have to take those clothes and, and you're going to have to go and change. And, you know, to be honest with you, we're, we're getting tired of having to go and ask the same ones over and over to change. Uh, you're out of dress code, send them home, bring them back, and everything's normal schedule. Uh, that's about ready to change. If you're a, a habitual offender of the dress code, you're going to start spending some time in an AEP. Uh, that, that's, there's just no way around it. We cannot allow you to leave school or have to be out of class to change your garments every single day or every other day. You know what's appropriate. You know what you should wear. You know what we are going to allow you to wear. And if you are not falling within, within those realms, then you need to correct it before we have to step in and do it. Also, uh, we have a lot of tardies. The vast majority of our tardies come to school. That is going to change, uh, or we're going to change it for you. Beginning after fall break, students who are tardy in the morning, you will start having to attend after school detention. We'll have teachers stationed up uh, uh, to supervise uh, the after school detention. It will not matter if you play sports, whether you play football, basketball, softball, soccer, it will not matter. If you work, you will still be required to, to make up that time in detention for you being tardy to school. We cannot teach you, we cannot learn, we cannot keep you safe if you never make it here on time. That's something you can control. Set your alarm 15 minutes earlier, get up, get to school on time. Because if you don't, after fall break, there's gonna be some consequences for that. Thank you. Uh, we kind of take a passive approach to the dress code. We talk to you nicely. We encourage you to change and not wear that anymore. But like Coach said, it's getting, it's getting to the point that uh, we're ready to change that uh, mindset and come be a little bit more aggressive with that. You know, we're off to a great school year. And uh, for any parents that might be viewing this video, but mostly to the students, we want to assure you that our number one job each and every day when we walk through these doors is to make sure that this building is safe. And I feel very confident and I, I feel very proud of the effort that we put forth to that. We have two resource officers on campus. Coach Hamilton and myself spend most of our days in the hallways and in the classrooms making sure things are going smooth and uh, they, they do. These comments that are made sends a, a sense of panic throughout the community. It sends a sense of panic throughout our school community and, and a whole lot of this video is to dispel that and also to let you know that we're on top of the situation and like Officer Barnett said, to inform you of the seriousness of making those threats. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I know we're looking forward to fall break. If we can be of help to you in any way in the front office, feel free to come by and sit down and talk to us. And I want to leave you with this. Always, always be mature enough and be the type of person that's willing to stand up and speak out. If you know of something that's going on in this building that's inappropriate, please let someone know, let an adult know, come up here and let us know so we can be on top of that and, and be in front of the situation. Thank you again. You guys have a good one.